In last class, we have studied potential due to a point charge, uh, the relationship between electric potential and difference, and electric field intensity. Uh, today, we will start with electric potential due to electric dipole. Electric potential due to electric dipole. Let's say we have a dipole AB with charge minus Q and plus Q. C is the center of dipole. Now we have a point P, point P at R distance from the center of dipole. We have P as dipole moment. From minus Q charge to plus Q charge, the distance between the dipole is D. So the distance AC or CB will be equal to D by 2. The angle between the R vector and the P dipole moment is theta. Now we extend this line which is joining center of dipole to the P point. The distance of this point P from minus Q charges, let's say R1, this is R1, and the distance from plus Q charge is R2. Now, if angle PCB is theta, then this angle is also the opposite angle will be also theta. We put a perpendicular from P point from B point to the R vector and name this point as N. We put another perpendicular from A to the same extended line of R vector and name this point as N. Now the data given is the charge of electric dipole that is Q. The D is distance the charges of dipole. The distance also denote as 2A also denote as 2A. Now we have to find electric potential due to this dipole at point P which is our distance from the center of dipole. The angle between P dipole moment and R is theta. So, what is theta? Angle between dipole moment P and R. So now, see the diagram carefully. See the diagram carefully. First, we will find out the potential due to minus Q charge at P and then potential due to uh, plus Q charge at P. Then the net potential will come. Okay. The potential due to minus Q charge at P. Potential due to minus Q charge at P is V1 equal to V1 equal to minus K Q upon R1. Then potential due to plus Q charge at P will be given as V2 that is equal to minus plus K Q upon R2 the net potential at net potential at point P P equal to V1 plus V2 so that will give us V equal to minus KQ upon R1 plus KQ upon R2. So we'll get KQ into R1 minus R2 upon R1 R2. Let's say this is equation 1. Now see the diagram in triangle ACM. First we will see in 
triangle ACM and will calculate the cos theta the CM in terms of cos theta then in triangle CMB we calculate cos theta CN by D2 D CN upon D by 2 and we will get CN in terms of cos theta okay so in given triangle in given figure 1 in figure triangle ACM cos theta will be coming as CM upon D by 2 so the CM will come as D by 2 cos theta this is equation 2 in triangle C and B cos theta will be equal to Cn upon D by 2 so we will get Cn as D by 2 cos theta this is equation third okay C cos theta in this triangle and we will get the value of Cm then we will get the value of Cm now we will see in triangle PAM in PAM AP is equal to MP ok and in triangle P and B PB is equal to PN ok same thing we will write here in figure in given diagram triangle PAM will get EP equal to MP so R1 will be equal to CP plus CM that will come to R plus D by 2 cos theta CP is R and CM is D by 2 cos theta from equation 2 so let's say this is equation 4 further in triangle P and B, PB equal to NP. So the R2 coming as CP minus CN, and this will be given given as R minus D by 2 cos theta. This is equation 5. The CN, the value of CN and CM is coming from here, equation 2 and equation 3 value of CN and CM and we'll put, we are putting over here so we will get equation 4 and equation 5 I got the value of R1 R2 I will put this value into equation 1 over here this is the equation 1 I will put the value of R1 R2 and I will get the value of V in equation 1 so from equation 1 4 and from 5 we are getting V equal to KQ into R1 minus R2 upon R1 R2 so that will give me R plus D by 2 cos theta this is R1 minus R2 R minus D by 2 cos theta upon R1 R2 R plus D by 2 cos theta multiplied by R minus D by 2 cos theta from here I will get V electric potential as KQ into D by 2 cos theta into 2 upon R square minus R square minus D square by 4 cos square theta. If we solve it further, we will get V as KQ D cos theta upon R square minus D square by 4 cos square theta. Okay, let's see name this equation as equation 6 further when 
the R is greater greater than D. Where D is the distance of between the two charges of dipole. Then D square then D square by 4 cos square theta will be neglected and the equation 6 will become as follows the V will be equal to K Q D cos theta upon R square which we can write as k p cos theta upon r square. The p is dipole moment which is equal to 2a q or 2a is nothing but the distance d dq. Okay, the distance between the two charge of dipole. So, from the equation 7, we get the electric potential due to dipole moment. My apologies, we got the electric potential due to electric dipole at given point P, which is at R distance from the center of dipole. Now take two special cases. Case 1, when the point is, the point P at, is on the axis of dipole. I have minus Q charge, I have plus Q charge and the point P is somewhere on the axis of dipole and it is at r distance apart r distance apart from the center of dipole the distance between the dipole is d so for this the theta is equal to 0 degree so v equal to k p cos 0 degree upon r square cos 0 is 1 so it will come to k p upon r square Case 2 at the bisector of dipole here on the axis here at bisector of dipole I have a dipole minus Q plus Q I have a point P at the bisector of this dipole D is the distance between the charge of dipole and point P is R distance apart from the center of dipole C. In this given case, the theta is equal to 90 degree. So, the potential will come as Kp cos 90 degree upon R square and this will come as 0. So, at bisector of dipole, passing through the center of dipole, the electric potential will be 0. So today we have gone through the entire derivation and details about the electric potential due to electric dipole. In next class we will study about equipotential surface, potential energy of a system of charge and potential energy of a single charge. Thank you.